Hello, and welcome back to the universe. It has been a minute, a long minute. It has been a long minute. Some things changed like my room, my hair, got my hair cut, got me some angsty bangs for the angst. Um, and I feel ready and back to do the things that I wanna do. Today, I'm going to be doing a five minute minimal makeup routine using all only exclusive products from a brand called Merit. Merit. And they kindly sent over seven products to me. Why? I don't know. Once again, it was supposed to be sent to me in February, but it got caught in the winter storm and I was moving and all that stuff. You know, I didn't get it until maybe like a, like a month ago. And then I've been testing them all out and I just haven't had the time to really experiment with them until more recently. And I have formed my opinion on them. So I thought I'd give you a five minute makeup routine using Merit and also a review and what I think about the products and all of that. Merit is founded by Katherine Powers, who's also the owner of Who, What, Where, and Versed Skincare. So, conglomerate, conglomerate, female conglomerate at that. So I'm gonna try to do this actually physically, physically in five minutes. I'm gonna set my timer up. I'm gonna do it in five minutes and then I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about the products. Not This is not first impressions. I've used this like over and over again and what I think about the brand and everything. So. Here we go. Become a subscriber today. Five seconds and five minutes and four seconds so I can put it down. So I'm kind of getting red. It's just how I am when I'm hot. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Uh, I don't know if I can be talking while I do this. I don't know. Well, I probably can, but I can't talk too much. Anyways, this is their highlighter stick. I love this. I like to use this underneath. Um, and just do a little wiperoo. You know, I'm really into that natural glow these days, so it's really, really good stuff. Okay, but I'm not in a rush. Yes, I am. I have only four minutes and 30 seconds left. All right, nice, nice, nice. And then I'm gonna go in with their, their, uh, their like foundation concealer slick stick. I forgot what this is called. Complexion stick. And this is in the shade Ochre. Don't worry, I'm gonna talk about this after. I've had I've had to wear a mask because um, I've been going out a little bit. So my skin is not doing so hot. They also gave me this wonderful, nicely dense complexion brush and that's what I'm gonna use. Wait, okay, I, I can chill. Like, there's not that many products. Um, yeah. This is an unedited, real five minute version. Me doing makeup. Okay. I go, yeah. No. Let me just little hold my mirror up because I cannot see from that far away. Okay. Coverage is really, 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 really light. Like, really light. Oh, and I'm getting so red. When I get, like, um, what's humvuna in English? Like, flustered, I get red. As do many folk, so I'm getting red right now because I'm like on a time crunch, but I'm not. It's chill, girl, chill. Okay, how's it look? Very natural. Okay, next, straight to the brows. Oh, no, 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 blush, girl, what? They got this flush bomb. I got the shade Terracotta. I don't have time to be showing you. I'm sorry, you guys. I'll show you after. And I, I know people do it directly. That does not work for me, and there's just, it just doesn't work. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this right on the cheeks. No bronzer, no highlighter. Well, I technically did that, that do stick. Just bleep, blop, bloop right here. No need for um preciseness, no need for accuracy. It's just, okay, two minutes and 25 seconds. Really can go in with this this blush because it's not that um ooh -hoo. okay next is the brows uh, I have this great little brow gel it's, I thought it'd be too light but it's actually not I'm just gonna brush this also is my lighting too cool I don't know um I just like to brush it 
the opposite direction of my brows first, and then up, and then to the side a little bit. Here we go, with, without. No. Got a minute and 30 seconds, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I mean, no need to make actually do it in five minutes. Like, no one's timing you in real life, so you don't have to take it off. I'm just doing this. I don't even know. Oh, maybe it's because I see a five minute merit. Oh, wow, not bad for my natural brows. Wow, really? Okay, I say this is not my first time doing this, but now I'm gonna do my, my mascara. This is not waterproof, so it doesn't st stick up my lashes, but for the purpose of this experiment, I need to go all the way through with all merit products, all right? I'll show you in real time how I do my lashes because usually I cut this out. Oh my gosh, but we're at 50 seconds, so I'm do <laughs> I should have opened the everything before. Hold on. Also, I want to show you guys my nails, but I'm just so busy just doing this crazy thing, girl. Oh gosh. Okay, 30 seconds. Dude, I can do it. Hold on. Okay, here's one lash. I don't have time to show you guys. I'm so sorry because I got 30 seconds left. 27 seconds now. Oh my lanta. All right, it's okay. I'm gonna fix this later. Oh gosh, 10 seconds. <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, six, five, uh, four, three, two. One. Okay. All right, girl, chill. All right, that was five minutes. Here's my five minute face. This is not, hold on. This doesn't count. This is what it looks like in five minutes. I think one of their like marketing things is like five minute mornings. My minute mornings are not five minutes, so. But anyways, this is a close up of my face. You can see very natural, very subtle. None of my blemishes are uh, concealed, but that's not the point. Let me tell you a little bit about what I just did. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The Merit recently launched at Sephora and they are known to be like a minimalist clean beauty brand. I personally don't really care for clean beauty. I don't, I think it's can be a little bit more of a marketing ploy because there's no FDA approved clean standard. It's more of like, you know, paraben free, alcohol free. But sometimes when you talk about clean beauty, it gives off the vibe that there is something that's unclean, right? So like dirty beauty, but that's not true, you know? But I think clean beauty can be catered towards people with sensitive skin or have certain allergies. And I know uh, Sephora has their own vetting process. I'm not the type of person that's gonna go all clean. I don't really see the, the intense value in that. But anyways, Merit is more of a minimalist. It's like Glossier's older, cooler sister. I don't know if you guys have seen True Beauty. The main character's older sister, like if the main character is Glossier, but it's like the older sister. It's like cool, clean, chic. You know, I just think of somebody that owns a New York apartment going to work on the street, like quick. You know, quick and sophisticated. That's the vibe that I got. And I started following them before, like when they first became to be, just because I, I really liked the aesthetic of the brand. And with every first purchase, you get this very, very cute pouch. So I thought that was very cool. I was like, oh, so when they reached out to me, I was like, me, what the fudge, why, okay? Like, yeah, but why, you know? And I didn't know too much. I just really liked their aesthetic and things like that. While there has been a lot of days where I do take my time, there has been other days where I'm just like, ba 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 da ba ba. So the first thing that I put on is their Day Glow Highlighting Balm. This is a highlighting balm and I, as you know, have been really into natural highlights. Like I don't really use powder highlights anymore, but I, oh my golly holly. Like at first when I saw this, I was like, oh wow. It looked nice, but I didn't think I'd like it that much just because it looked kind of like a tacky balm almost. But when I started using it, it's extremely emollient. It's almost like solidified oil, but once it hits the skin, it just melts but I don't like putting it on top because it kind of smudges whatever's on top. So what I've been doing most of the time is putting it on underneath, like I would use my Charlotte Tilbury or my Glowless Luminizer, and I just put on that bad boy. And when I'm wearing lighter foundation or like just concealer, you can really, really see it. So I really, really like this. I will say this is a hefty price point, and I was a little like, and 
I still am a little like price point wise, but I think you're paying for like the branding and the packaging. Retails for $30. It's expensive, but I like this so much. I feel like if I use this all up and I don't have anything else like it, I could see myself repurchasing this. Not a blinding highlight, but that's not what Merit's about and that's not what I want. There's two shades. I have the shade Kava and there's another more of a rose goldy one that's uh, Bounce, Bounce. But this is the shade Kava. Next, I tried their Ochre, their complexion, their perfecting complexion stick. And this is supposed to double as like a concealer and a foundation. And this is probably my first actual foundation stick. I like it, I don't love it. Like, I, it's nice, it's really nice and if it fits your needs and you like the packaging and you like Merit, by all means go ahead and try it. But I'm not, I probably wouldn't have purchased this with my own money. It's $38, $38 for 0.13 ounces of product. For reference, usually a foundation that's around $30, $40 at Sephora is like an ounce. And I know this is in stick form, but I just think it's really, really expensive. The packaging, however, is extremely luxe. There's that gold lettering. It's not like, I know it's plastic, but it's like a nice kind. It's like so sheer and it doesn't have great coverage. This is something I'd only feel confident wearing when I have a really good skin day. Like when I'm having good skin days, this looks really good because my skin is already looking good and this is just kind of evening out and balancing the color and things like that. However, when I have redness and when I have pimples, which I have a lot of today, a lot of pimples and stuff going on here and stuff like that, I'm not, I wouldn't reach for this. However, for the pals out there that never even know what a pimple is, this is nice. And you know, the gals that want something minimal, very, very nice. I just, it would be hard for me to justify the price point. Next is their blush. As you know already, I love me some plush. And this is their, this is called Flush Balm Cream Blush. And it's $28. I have the shade Terracotta, which is like a warmish, brownish, orange shade. This also has, what, 0.3 ounces of product and it's $28. For reference, the 20, Tower 28 is 0.16 ounces and it's $20. So you're getting almost double the product for $28. So it's not, it's not, I think this is actually makes more sense in terms of like price point. So I was kind of on and off about this because I thought it was so sheer and it's so balmy and very, everything I feel like from this brand is very like emollient, very, very balmy, almost to the almost, you could almost go to the side of like, it's it almost looks like dewy, ov dewy crossing the border of almost oily, but it's not oily because everything is so dewy. So everything is just intensifying the dew. I'm dry, so it's fine for me, you know? But I will say this also adds just the flushy dewiness on top of your dewiness when you're pairing it with the kava, the balm. So, uh, yeah, I was a little back and forth because I really liked this, but at first I thought it was so sheer. And then I was like, oh, it's disappearing on me. I was applying it like with my finger and like this, and it was not, this is not a good idea. Don't do that, don't do that. Applying it with a brush is so much better. It really packs on the pigment the way that I like it. It's still sheer, right? It's not like intense, but the color is such a natural, healthy flush. I actually really, really enjoy this. And it gives a sophisticated but clean look and i like the shades that they came out with i think they're really pretty and they're more inclusive i think a lot of different skin tones can wear these shades so i definitely would recommend this but it's still 28 dollars is pretty expensive for a blush it, it is but i really do like it but it's not pigment kapow there is a limit to how much you can build this but it's still a really beautiful pro oh. then we have the brown 1980 volumizing eyebrow pomade gel again beautiful packaging gold sleek this is in the shade brown and it's $24. I think that's pretty normal for a brow, like 20 to $25 for a brow product. I never like really bought brow products until more recently I started thinking about like, I need to up my brow game a little bit. I do like this. It's very subtle, very natural. My brows, obviously they stop like right here. This isn't something I could just use by itself when I want to look completely fully put together. I think it's nice, but it's not like the most memorable product. And had I not received this, I don't know if I'd purchase it just because in general I don't purchase brow gels nothing bad to say but I feel not well versed in the brow game so it's hard for me to come to a conclusive opinion however I do enjoy it all the products here I don't dislike oh there's one um, I don't dislike but there are only three that I'm like pay money for it you know what I'm saying because it's like oh I like it but like can I live without it I indeed I can't 
Next is their mascara. This is their, they have one perfect black lengthening mascara. Um, yeah, I already knew that this mascara was not gonna work for me because it's not waterproof. And if a mascara is not waterproof, it has nothing to do with the formulation of the mask. It's literally just the Asian lashes. They just don't take non-waterproof. I will say though, it is lengthening. What I usually do is I double up. I will use my waterproof mascara first and then I'll double up with this. And I think that looks really nice, but I wouldn't purchase, like I'm never gonna purchase a non-waterproof mascara. But I will say the packaging of this is bomb.com. Like, I mean, the packaging of all of this is really, really nice. But I think if you are of not the straight lash crew, you might actually really enjoy this. It's very thin. I heard it's a tubing formula. I don't really know what that means. Tubes, tubes of your mascara. But you probably won't catch me purchasing this. And then lastly, this will battle for first or second. This is their lip tinted lip oil. And let me just show you. Oh. First of all, the feeling of this is so nice, so nice. It's not tacky like a balm. It's not sheer. It has such nice pigment and it glides on like a thicker oil, but it's not greasy. And I love the color. I love how it stays on my lips. It doesn't stay super long because it's like a still a pretty slippery formula. I would definitely buy this. Like I definitely buy this and I'm, I thought about buying like another color. I really shouldn't though. So I'm, I'm not going to, but I love this so much. I think it's so pretty. The colors that they have are really pretty. This is like, this is the shade uh, Naturel. And I feel like it adds just a little bit more of a peachiness to my look. And I think it pairs really well with the blush. It's $24, which have I paid for more expensive things? Lip things? I certainly have. So, I mean, $24, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I think it's a luxury gift. Like I wouldn't be buying one of these every day. It's for your minimal gals, you know? But it's just so nice to put on. It's so moisturizing. I love this. I personally would recommend, and I really, really enjoyed the most, their blush, their lip, and their highlighting stick. Even out of these three, I think the highlighting stick is almost my favorite just because I just been loving that, that. I just been loving this. I just been loving this. Anyways, that's it. This is obviously not the most put together look, but I think it's very it's reflective of typical look that I'll do because a lot of days too, I'll be working and then I'll be kind of bored and I don't want to go full out and I don't have time to go full out just because I have a short break at work. And so I'll just like, do a little, little, little something, and a lot of the days I end up looking like this. So I like it, I feel very pretty. It hits the way that I look in the sun. It's fantastic, a brand you should consider. So uh, yeah, that's it. They also gave me an affiliate code. Uh, this is my first real, no, no, technically this is my second one, but uh, I'll put it in below. You don't have to use it. You really don't have to. But they gave me one, so I was like, oh, okay, thank you, merit. Yeah, but anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope watching me put this on in five minutes was in some way enjoyable. I don't think it was helpful. And I'm going to be putting up my room tour soon. I finally got my last thing and that will be posted someday, like next week, promise, kind of. And that's it. Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for being here as always. Be nice to your parents, wear a mask, even if you're vaccinated. Still gotta wear a mask. And see you guys again soon.